What it do, flight crew? FTC. Flight team stand up! Hey, man. Back at you with another So Fresh So Clean Thing reaction up in this bit. Uh, we got one celebrating too early, goes terribly wrong. You guys see some white stuff on my hoodie, don't think wrong. For you weirdos out there, that is toothpaste. That's what happens when you brush your teeth and you're hygienic and you brush, you know what I'm saying, you're in a rush too as well. Uh, yeah, so that's what it is. Don't think it's anything else. Um, you should not be celebrating. For you guys out there in sports teams, do not be celebrating way too early than expected. Because you will be embarrassed. You'll probably be benched. Let's get it. Back in 2013, one of the most historic moments in NBA history unfolded right before us. Right. Ray Allen hit the shot of his life, sending Game 6 of the NBA Finals into overtime and eventually leading to a Game 7 victory and a championship. Wow. This is arguably one of the most clutch shots in NBA history. If Ray Allen misses this, the Heat lose, done deal. Ah, <sighs> what a moment. Looking back, most NBA fans would jump at the opportunity to witness history live, up close and in person. Well, most fans would. But not these people. With less than 30 seconds left in the fourth quarter of a win or go home finals game that is separated by four points, fans, or should I say imposters, posing as fans wearing heat gear, promptly left their seats and exited the stadium. We are talking about one of the biggest moments in basketball within the last decade, and people are leaving to beat the traffic. Wow. Hey, I understand you have to be up early in the morning, Karen, but you already <laughs> paid $600 for the ticket. Would it kill you to stay another few minutes and, oh, I don't know, witness history? But That's crazy, was man. Only half of their troubles. Bandwagon. Because, as we know, Ray Allen hit this shot and the game went into overtime. So, instead of just going home like they so desperately wanted to do 30 seconds ago, the same bandwagon fans who left early tried to re enter <laughs> to the Literally, bandwagon door to get back into the game. But, homie at the door is fed up. Imagine paying $600 for a ticket to a finals game just to leave early, just to try to re-enter with no success, and having the entire thing broadcasted in front of millions. Get your way ass outside. <laughs> but at That's least right. people were able to see the team that they pretended to be a fan of win, even if it was through a glass door. Back in 2010, fans of a Croatian basketball team weren't so lucky. It's May 4th. These two teams, which I refuse to even attempt to pronounce, are battling it out for <laughs> Yeah, I'm not doing that either. Black is Serbia, white Be is Be another Croatia. viral meme, huh? The game has already been sent to overtime, and with just eight seconds left on the clock, Serbia is ahead by just one point. Croatia fouls Lawrence Roberts, sending him to the line to shoot two free throws. He's already missed four free throws throughout the game, but if he sinks these two, he'll put Serbia up by three. No biggie. Just hit a couple of shots, and the championship is your- Oh my gosh, get your skills up, man. Uh, okay, well, you still have one more shot. Just take your time and sink the shot. Get your skills up, bro. Damn. With eight seconds left on the clock, Croatia pushes the ball up the floor and kicks it to Bojan Bogdanovic in the corner. He rises up and sinks the three. With wow. virtually no time left on the clock, Croatia has stolen the championship on a last second wow. shot. The players are pumped. The fans are going wild. What an amazing moment for this organization. Wow. To even get commentators have more energy than the USA ones. What the hell? A prayer from 60 feet and drills. I was it. lucky. The Croatian team is stunned. They cannot believe what just happened. They're looking at the refs, searching for answers, but there are none. There are Instead none. You slacked defense, off. They were busy celebrating while simultaneously losing the championship. And unfortunately for fans of Auburn's men's basketball team, last season ended in similar fashion.
These are the sights and sounds of a fan base overwhelmed with excitement because their team is heading to the NCAA championship game. Except, they're not. See, last season, Auburn and Virginia faced off in a Final Four matchup. After 40 minutes of intense back and forth play, Auburn finds themselves up by two points with just 1.5 seconds left on the clock. All Auburn needs to do is play solid defense for a second and a half. Right. And not commit a foul, and they're heading to the NCAA championship. The lob, looking, looking. It's Guy from the corner. Oh! Oh! Well, all right. I guess it's all over for all. What a dumbass! Sucks that That's low key not a foul it, either. At least. You don't even know what you're doing. Look at this. Look at this dude. Oh, bro, I would drop him. I'll drop their whole team off on me one. Weak ass team, man. Wow, that's crazy. Imagine celebrating that early. In the midst Where's of Auburn at? All of this that's in like Missouri Auburn or some shit. thought that the game had ended with Cow Guys Miss 3. They thought their team was going to the championship. And for some odd reason, they're chanting SEC instead of their own school's name. But while they're celebrating in the streets, their team is losing the game. <laughs> of course, they wouldn't know that because they're... Bandwagons. Well, in the streets, not watching it, but it didn't take long for these fans to realize what just happened. And instead of admitting to their foolish behavior, they instead choose to get mad, pout, and be in denial. <laughs> Another case of celebrating too early gone wrong. But as a fan, there isn't much you can do to help your team win. Of course, staying until the end and actually watching the game would be a good place to Dumbass. start. Dumbass. However, being the reason why your team loses is a whole different problem, which is exactly what this player was guilty of back in 2013. It's the state championship game. Yeah. New Rochelle High School in black versus Mount Vernon in white. We're tuning in with just 2.9 seconds left on the clock. Mount Vernon is up by two with New Rochelle inbounding the ball. This is a tough situation for New Rochelle, but we've seen worse. With no timeouts left and enough time to put up one shot, the game <laughs> is pretty much in the books. All Mount Vernon has to do is get a stop. Really not much to it. It would take a miracle for New Rochelle to win this game. Oh my gosh. With the basketball IQ of a small child, a player from Mount Vernon makes the play of a lifetime by intercepting the inbounds pass, but then throws the ball up to run out the clock. Then my man's from New Rochelle puts up a 60 foot heave and hits wow. it. Wow. Game. And just like that, what a dumbass. this guy is overwhelmed with all the clout his heart desires, and this guy is reevaluating his entire existence. The entire New Rochelle team rushes the court, state champions. Wow, you know that dude okay. that turned the ball over like Just seconds after New Rochelle hits the game winner, the refs call off the shot, saying the ball did not leave the player's hands in time. What? So that's a case of double early celebration. Madness ensues. People are going crazy. Not a single person in the building has any idea of what's going on. It's absolute chaos. But wait. They gotta, if they ain't scrapping with the ref, bro, if they waved it off, bro, they're soft. The whole team is soft. If the ref really waved that off, they better scrap with the ref, bro. One of them, but I better see somebody holding somebody back. <laughs> oh, it counts! The refs discuss the shot some more and come to the conclusion that the shot was good. Wow. So they re reverse their call, and just like that, New Rochelle are state champions. Wow. What is going on? Look at his face! This got to be the most chaotic thing I've ever seen on a basketball court. That's crazy. To make matters worse, the ref hits the entire arena with the call, 
then does the dash on him. <laughs> yeah, he had to do the dash. Let's see what the strap was on, definitely. Mount Vernon goes from state champions to But that dude is a dumbass. He didn't even throw it up high enough either. State champions again to going out sad with no title. Truly an extreme case of celebrating too early. But I think all these players and fans could learn a thing or two about celebrating. There's a time and a place for it. And it's not locked outside the arena. It's not on the court, and it's definitely not while the game is still going on. Wow. Hope you all enjoyed, and as always, look at his face. Until next time. Wow, man. That's why you don't celebrate too early, you guys. <laughs> Comment down below if you ever experienced a situation where you celebrated too early on your sports team.